What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Comedian Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is having a peaceful, joyous, happy Monday night. Okay, I just want to tell you that I love you guys and I care so much about you guys and I appreciate all my true subscribers. Okay, so um, I'm going to sing y'all a song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing, sing. Okay, don't worry for all the trolls that be like, damn, she's singing again. I hate when that goddamn girl sing. I can't stand it. But I'm hearing in my head, don't believe the hype. Fight the power. Don't believe the hype. Okay, I'm hearing public enemy in my head. Listen, this message probably not going to be long at all. It may be long. It may not. May not. It may be short. Okay, one second. Um, listen to me, y'all. So listen, I, I just got through like, you know, straightening up my house and stuff. And I took me a nice long spiritual bath, bubble bath. And I'm relaxing in the bed. And so, you know, I'm just scrolling on the internet, doing my night daily night routine. And uh, I keep seeing this mass shooting all over the internet. I just want to say something. A lot of people is not going to like the message that I'm about to say and I'm about to put out. Now, if you have been watching my channel, I can feel this in the anointing. I can feel this in the spirit, what I'm about to tell y'all. But if you've been watching my channel, if you are an old subscriber, not a troll, um, I've been talking about, if you've been paying attention, I've been saying that there's going to be a lot more mass shootings, okay? Now, there is a mass shooting that just took place in Alabama, OK, but there ha there has been more mass shootings. It was just a mass shooting in Tennessee in Nashville with those little kids. OK, I've done my research. I've done my background. Now, listen, everything that I say on this video will be allegedly. So. I've been looking at different like news posts and things of that nature. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I also want to say this. If you're new to my channel, I don't just do tarot. So I want you to go read the description box. OK, I talk about Earth, the atmosphere. Sometimes I'll mention stuff about astrology, even though I'm not an astrologer. I talk about all different things on my channel. I expose the real. But I want to tell you all something. The Masons. Listen to me now. The Masons in the Eastern Stars are out here killing their goddamn kids for spiritual ranking. Let me take that back. Not spiritual ranking, but high ranking on paper. A lot of people may be angry about this. So what I, about what I'm saying about what's coming out of my out of my mouth? I don't work for any local government officials. I don't work for anybody that's in the higher officials. I don't do anything. I've watched several videos. I've done my research and I'm not even trying to do research. I'm just laying in my bed chilling, but I'm connecting the dots. OK, and I'm putting two and two together. So what is the black caucus or caucus? However you say it, I Googled that and I understood the definition so this is a small little town, okay? I'm looking at these people, parents. I'm looking at the interviews. I'm looking at these people, emotions. Don't get me wrong. Everybody grieves differently. But I'm looking at people, emotions. I'm looking at people, body language. I'm looking at people, expressions. This was a staged event. And these Masons and these Eastern stars, they're sacrificing their family members, their children, I'm closing my eyes right now and all I'm seeing is chaos and I'm seeing blood and chaos. The enemy don't even want me to get this out. I can see the devil himself. I can see the Baphomet in my third eye right now. That's how dangerous this is. If you believe this bullshit ass story that's being pushed out on the news, on the world news and these local news and these small towns, if you believe this fucking bullshit and guess what God is telling me, somebody is going to be caught for this crime. It may be some little black kids. It may be a white child. I don't know who's going to get caught for these for this crime. But what spirit is telling me is they're the fall guys. This was a blood sacrifice. 
This is a blood. This this is blood. This is a blood sacrifice of many people. This was set up and this was staged and the local government officials involving this case was behind it. And these people, these children's families have been paid off. They wanted to kill more people. But unfortunately, some of these individuals, some of these children and some of these people that survived this mass shooting had the had a calling has a calling and has the anointing over their life or if they don't have a calling or a high calling excuse me because everybody has some sort of calling whether it's a low high or middle or whatever i'm not getting into that but these people had the hand of god touching them because all of them people were supposed to die if you might I don't got to lie or make up a motherfucking thing. And I ain't saying nobody accusing me to that. I'm connecting the dots. Okay. Y'all can probably see my goddamn Tupac poster. <laughs> but I'm connecting the goddamn dots. And I'm putting two and two together. So I go look at a news post about this whole mass shooting shit in Alabama. And now they got the fucking black caucus. Or how you said caucus speaking out the Masonic Lodge and shit. People, that's a part of this is the black bull, the black bull, however you pronounce it. They did this shit to them fucking kids. And I don't care who the fuck take the fall for it. I don't give a fuck who take the fall for it because somebody is going to go to jail for this shit. But what spirit is telling me in my anointing, they're just going to be the fall guys. This was a hit. This was a Masonic hit. This is a blood sacrifice for ranking. One of them people, uh, one of them people, parents is in the military. They're a Marine or something like that. These people took out their own blood, their own flesh and blood for ranking. Y'all be a goddamn fool if y'all believe this shit. The same thing happened to Shanquella Robinson, Kanika Jenkins, Trayvon, Trayvon Martin, Kendrick, the boy that they found rolled up in the gym mat, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin's father was a, was a Mason. They killed that goddamn boy for high ranking. And if you, I don't care how much they show this shit on the news or CNN, they doing this shit to their own children because the first shall be last and the last shall be first. They killing us. This shit is staged. They got President Biden speaking out. Ain't nobody listening to me. All these videos that I keep posting about these shootings and shit and ain't nobody paying attention. Wake the fuck up, y'all. Y'all need to wake the fuck up, for real. I don't care. Guess what? Spirit is telling me, yeah, they're going to get some people. they probably going to arrest some little black kids or a white child or I don't fucking know. And I'm not trying to make this a race thing. They're going to arrest somebody. But these people are the fall guy. I did my research already. I've connected the dots. And I'm pretty sure God is going to tell me more. I've connected the dots. Now, I just seen a post for four hours ago. I've been watching different. I, I, I wasn't even trying to get into this story. I ain't even know this shit was going on. Now, the black caucus, the people, the the, Masan, the black, the black bull, the Masonic Lodge is speaking out the, the funeral home in that small town. This was a blood sacrifice, a hit. Some of these people, parents was involved. Some of these people were innocent bystanders. But it, anybody that survived this shooting had God touching them. God was touching them. This is a blood sacrifice. I don't care what nobody say. And I guarantee you ain't no telling what's going to happen for that city after this. Ain't, ain't no telling what's going to happen to these people. Don't believe the fucking hype. I seen one dude that was in the military or ex-marine or something like that. His child was killed. That motherfucker didn't have no emotion. That don't get me wrong. People grieve differently, but that motherfucker didn't have no goddamn emotion. That was a blood fucking sacrifice. The whole ordeal was staged. And anybody that go to jail for this shit, there are the fall guys or the fall children. This small little bitty ass town and y'all don't know who did what. Y'all don't have cameras of this, that, and the third in the funeral home. You got the black bull, the black boss of me, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The Masson, the Masons and shit. You got them doing a, their own press conference outside of the news at a funeral home, a black funeral home. 
I looked at every last one of them goddamn black people on TV acting, talking about we calling for guns to be taken away and this, that, and the third, and we're calling for this and we calling for that. The innocent goddamn good children. I told y'all this shit was going to happen. I posted something. I believe I posted something in the community board. They taking their own kids that you don't believe me. It happened to Trayvon Martin. They lied to us. They lied and they said that Trayvon went to the store to get some candy or whatever the hell he was getting and they killed him because he had a hoodie on. But see what they didn't tell us was that his daddy was a Mason and he was trying to get higher ranking in the brotherhood. And that's the same goddamn thing they didn't did to these goddamn kids. And don't believe what the fucking news tell you. The news, it ain't nothing but tell lie vision. Tell a lie. The news ain't doing nothing but telling a goddamn lie. And everything that I'm saying on here is allegedly, but I've already connected the dots. The Black Masonic Lodge in that town, those lodges, those occults, they did this shit. And they on the news and they faking and they acting and they shaking. A lot of the people that were supposed to lose their lives, that didn't lose their lives. Some of the people that did live, lose their lives, they were poor. And they didn't give a fuck about killing them. See, right now, the world that we live in, it's about rich, poor, or poor. It, it, it ain't no more middle class. And these people know, they know that the first will be last and the last will be first. So they doing any things by, by any means necessary to keep their ranking on, pa on paper. To keep their bloodline strong. See, they don't have a pure royal bloodline like we do, like divine feminine, divine masculine. So they have to make blood sacrifices to keep their bloodline strong. And that's exactly what just happened. If you believe this bullshit all over the news, then you stupid. I'm not calling you stupid, but you need to wake the fuck up. This was staged and this was a hit. That police department is involved in this. They don't give a fuck. Do you think them police department, they are part of the K. They got their own brotherhood. Some of them, the police is a part of the KKK and everything. And I'm not trying to make this a work, a race war, but they got their own fucking brotherhood. Okay. I, I, I'm seeing a meeting in my head. This was a secret meeting that went on. There was some type of secret meeting. I don't know if it's the funeral home. I don't know if it's the Black Bull, the Masonic Lodge, whatever the fuck them, the Masons or Eastern Stars in that town, in that city. They told them niggas, the police department, the local government officials, they told them niggas, I'm seeing it in my third eye. If you want to get this or you want to get that or you want your business to grow or you want to branch out, then we going to need some sacrifices. They hired some people to come in or they pay somebody's child or children these are fall guys it's gonna be somebody arrested but these motherfuckers are gonna be the fall guys god forgive me if i'm wrong but i can feel this shit in my anointing. and god ain't gonna tell me nothing that ain't right that's wrong this is the same thing that happened to Trayvon, the same thing that happened to Kanika Jenkins. The industry hits Masonic and if it ain't an industry hit, it's, a, it's, it's these black, it's these black masons and eastern stars that's wanting to get high ranked. It's not just black masons and eastern stars. They trying to preserve their bloodline right now by any means necessary. Wake the fuck up and step out of the side outside of the matrix because this is what happened. They promised them people something. I guarantee you them people going to rebuild. I don't know what the fuck they promised them people and the other people that were injured or anybody that was killed. Everybody was supposed to die. But anybody else that was killed. They didn't give a fuck about them because they were black and poor in the black Masonic Lodge. The Mason, the Eastern Star people in that district, in that town, in that state, they was a part of it. They didn't give a fuck about them poor black people. Some of these people were innocent bystanders. They got injured and hurt. All 28 people were supposed to die. And the main goddamn hit, the main sacrifice God is telling me is that boy that was a star football player. He is the main sacrifice. That's why they keep saying his name. And that's why the goddamn news keep getting on there fucking saying, oh, we don't we want to protect the image of our of our town, of our city, or our, or of, of our state. I watched this video. I don't know how many times. If y'all know what I'm talking about, put it in the comment section. Them black masons and eastern stars up there talking about they calling for gun violence. Uh, get rid of the gun. Calling for gun laws. Get rid of the guns. This, that, and the third. But every last one of them looked like they was a part of it. That was a citywide blood sacrifice. And the main sacrifice that they wanted, I guarantee you, every last one of them looked into those kids' birth charts. They looked at the star kids of the school and they looked into their birth charts. And they probably, I feel like those were some paid assassins that went in that goddamn building. Now, listen, 
I did a video on my channel called The Death of the Black Owned Bank. Who remembers that? If you don't remember that, maybe I need to post it in the community tab. Or maybe you need to scroll through my videos and watch it. I got a video on my channel called The Death of the Black Owned Bank. They had that Sweet 16 party right around the corner from a bank. Now, I don't know if it was a black bank. I don't know what type of bank it was. But if y'all don't know, a lot of the banks like Wells Fargo, I believe Chase, those banks were owned by slave masters, okay? But now it's a lot of black people, the black bull, the black masons and Eastern stars. They're start, they're about to start getting their own banks. And so and it's, about, it's, a, it's about to be a lot of mass shootings in black owned banks. Whatever you do, do not bank black. I don't care if you is a black person. Do not bank black black. And you can't trust. I don't care. You can't trust your fellow man. I don't care what the fuck color they are. If you black, stay away. If you're not a part of some type of an occult or organization and you black stay you can't trust all black people black people stay away from the motherfuckers because they calling hits they killing their own goddamn children this mass shooting was right around the corner from a bank i'm telling you then them damn black masons and eastern stars they did a press conference in front of a black funeral home i believe the black cactus or caucus however you want to call it talking about they want to we need gun laws this that and the third then one of them boys parents that got killed was it was in the military they did this shit for high ranking this was a blood sacrifice and i'm seeing a secret meeting i'm seeing a secret meeting between white masons and black masons they looked into those kids birth charts and they and their 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 main their main sacrifice they took out them other ones but their main sacrifice was that star football player and one of these people that one of those kids they didn't mean to kill but every last one of them and, and everybody else that was injured or hit god is telling me that they did that on purpose they didn't intend to kill them okay one of them they didn't mean to kill okay but the other people that got injured they just injured them they weren't gonna kill them they weren't gonna kill them no way they injured them so it could so they could cover it up so it could look like some crazy person just went in there uh they gonna blame it on some young kids they're gonna blame it on a a, a jealous uh they might blame it I'm, I'm seeing different many things allegedly they may blame it on some jealous kids that involve some type of football game or something that they lost they're gonna blame it on some random person I don't know but whoever's gonna go to jail for this shit is gonna be the fall guy they might not even really go to jail they might pretend like they're gonna go to jail they're just gonna cover it up over the news I'm telling you this is the black ball this is the black masons and eastern stars there was some type of secret meeting with the white masons a part of the KKA, KKK the police department this was a setup they're trying to get high more high ranking they're start they're trying to they're trying to get uh more powerful OK, this is what spirit is telling me. They're trying to get more powerful. OK, because something is telling me in my spirit that they're Masonic, they're ma whatever a uh, cult that's in that little small town. They don't have that much pull. They don't have that much ranking or something like that. They're trying to grow their brotherhood. OK, and it, it, it so happened to be across the street or around the corner from a bank. I'm telling you, man, that whole town, that whole little town that... <laughs> excuse me that whole little town that whole little city is demonic this is a blood sacrifice and the main sacrifice because i can see this boy in my spirit the main sacrifice was that star football player i'm telling you i'm telling you and the other people that was injured they got injured because they poor and they don't give a fuck i'm telling you black people stay away from them black people that's a part of a cult and organizations if you white stay away from those white people that's a part of a cult and organization if you hispanic stay away from them type of people i'm telling you this is a war out here and everything that i'm saying is allegedly is allegedly if you have not watched that video scroll all the way down to my videos i did a video with that i believe is called the death of the black owned bank it's something like that i may need to see it put it in the comment section i don't know i really don't know right now but if you believe that bullshit whoever gonna get arrested for that is the fall guy this was a blood sacrifice and a setup by black masons and eastern stars that had a secret meeting with the white masons and eastern stars a part of the kkk this is a blood sacrifice period point blank like subscribe and share thank you and goodbye